Hey folks, it's Andy with Nuthouse Industries. We're out here in the shop today to take a look at one of our new products that we launched uh, this fall. It's a full expedition up bit on the back of the truck from the flatbed to the boxes underneath to the boxes on top. Uh, again, a total one-stop shop for your off-roading, contracting, whatever type of solution you're looking for in all aluminum construction. But first, we're gonna look at exactly how we build our truck beds. So we're gonna start taking a look at this truck bed from exactly how it's fabricated. Uh, this is a small sample corner we made up today in the shop here, just to kind of show you the materials, the welding, and the techniques we use to, to really make this truck bed strong and able to carry all these different modules and options uh, that we work with. So the first thing we'll look at right on top here is that front uh, headache rack. It's a two inch by four inch, eighth inch wall tube. And we cut that and we miter that around to mock uh, the lines of the cab. Uh, when we take it into the truck bed, most folks will put a flange down here and just bolt it on, or they may take a plate over the back side. But we actually take it all the way through that corner and fully weld it, as you can see here in the bottom, into that corner, which reinforces the corner of the bed as well as makes that headache rack super, super strong and able to, to take a, a hit from something being loaded or just simply be able to support an overhead rack or whatever other option we might tie in. Uh, one of the reasons we went to this uh, wider rail, as you'll see later, is we are incorporating our fuel fillers right here in this angled part of the rail. Uh, and you'll see that a little bit later in on the truck. Um, but the bed itself, we start with a quarter inch wall channel custom aluminum extrusion that we have done to run the perimeter of the truck bed same extrusion we use in our trailers uh, the flooring is a one inch uh, you can see tongue and grooved uh, about a four and a quarter inch wide plank and those are all completely locked together um, we start underneath as you can see they're welded at the top and at the bottom we also stitch weld wherever there's a joint. Um, this one wasn't quite big enough to dictate it, uh, but that flooring is completely welded underneath. And then once it's all together, we come back and do a fully welded bead all the way around the perimeter of the truck. So you have one unitized bed. Uh, underneath all that to support and get the height you need to clear the tires and wheels. Um, so this, if you look at it, it'll be running the length of the truck. So then when we flip it over, we do a two by three inch I-beam that runs the width of the truck. And again, fully welded, welded into the end rails all the way through both sides as much as you can uh, to make sure that gives a good structural integrity to that deck and makes the deck uh, nice and stiff. Uh, then this is what actually sits on either a six inch or eight inch high U-channel uh, that creates the long sill of the truck bed to sit on the truck frame or uh, cab chassis frame depending on some of them are splayed out into a wide. So we're going to start right here at the front corner of this truck bed. As we mentioned earlier this nice wide headache rack frame what that allowed us to do was incorporate fuel filler and depth fillers right here into this rail. Uh, it gets them up much higher. A lot of truck beds use it down here or right below. Uh, there's just not enough angle on the fuel line so it becomes a very slow process to fuel up the truck or to put def fluid in it. By us moving them up here, you get a great flow rate, uh, no problem at the fuel stop and you know you pop this thing open, boom, hit it with the fuel and, and it's flowing right in there nice and easy. Um, this one, of course, the def in there, we put it right up on top. Uh, as we start down through here, you can kind of start to see some of those details. This is that main frame rail that we saw earlier. Uh, this customer requested some truck uh, little tie down uh, tabs that we uh, welded directly to that. Uh, one of the uses for this truck down the road is potentially a small uh, truck camper of some sort and uh, he'll be able to anchor down to these. Um, you can see the underbody boxes here, uh, the skirting. Uh, these are a 40 inch tire on this uh, AEV Prospector build here. Uh, so massive tire, but our skirting and our wheel well lips are able to easily accommodate that and really just make them look like they came from the factory. Uh, on these side boxes here, we've got dual compression latches that are lockable. Bring these down. 
Got a nice work surface here with lots of storage. These boxes are actually bolted to this bed, uh, so they can be removed uh, if you want to use some other type of modules, uh, some other type of crossover box. So very easy to change those out. Uh, these back corner ones, cut away for a good departure angle. We use a swing door on them because of the shape of the door. It gives you some good use of that space, particularly for your recovery gear, things like that. Again, same compression latches. Across the back here, you can see uh, what truck bed is left. Uh, we'll show you a neat option later on how we gave him a little bit more truck bed length back with the uh, little sleeping module up front. Uh, you can see the 40 inch tire there uh, strapped to the L-Track on that uh, sleeping module. So very nice spot for that big tire to sit. You can see the L-Track throughout. Uh, this particular customer hauls dual sport bikes on it. Uh, we do have it set up so that that spare tire can go on top of the front module as well. So lots and lots of ways to use this truck bed. Everything is uh, bolted right onto it so it's able to be removed. The front module has lift tabs so that you can pick it up. Uh, this is all covered in uh, Linex Ultra and all of their polyurea. The top deck is actually another Linex product that's much thicker for durability and a little heavier texture and then everything gets that final coat of that UV resistant uh, Linex Ultra. So makes for a really nice finish, nice touch and, and great durability because this guy does use the truck in many different ways, whether it's uh, an overlanding trip, a dual sport uh, trip. Uh, he may go and bring home a load of uh, pellets for his uh, pellet stove. So lots of work uh, options for it as well as uh, pleasure options. Uh, some of the things in the rear skirt that you can see here, we incorporate all LED lighting throughout. Uh, it's pretty much the way of the, of the future and all we do is everything, whether it's the little marker lights, uh, the additional Vision X uh, flush mount Dura Minis, all that uh, is tied right into the factory uh, wiring. We've got his seven way, his backup cameras here, uh, all the typical uh, skirt options you have, just everything incorporated in there. One unique feature of this is again another compression latch. Uh, we have a few things going on in this uh, skirted area here. This truck has the Titan Tanks auxiliary fuel tank in the back, and we needed a filler for it. And again, rather than putting it out here on the outside of the truck, we just tucked it in the back and turned it in sideways. Uh, it doesn't have quite the angle, so it feels a little slower, but nonetheless, it's tucked away and hidden. He has uh, A or B air compressor on board, so he has his air right there, nice and convenient, tucked away and clean uh, behind, you know, again, a secured door. Uh, we also incorporated a drawer in here on full extension, 500 pound slides back to having two of those compression latches. Uh, this can be used to store tools, uh, work implements as you see here, your favorite firearm, whatever it might be. It's a good, secure, lockable place. Uh, we have a soft urethane lining in here uh, to, and rubber seal all the way around. So it's kind of a triple lock door as well. Obviously we have the locking compression latches. We have these slides lock in and out. So you do have a work table when you pull that out. This goes back in, locks into place. We have room for a padlock here. So there's your second lock. And then when you do close this up, you got a third lock with the compression latch again. So nice secure dry storage uh, at the back of the truck and an otherwise uh, useless uh, space. So come around to this side. We've already kind of talked about these uh, upper boxes and the lower boxes. Again, you can see the skirting, how it all ties in with the tires and wheels. This uh, front module, something that's uh, one of the first ones we've done, we kind of took what we've been doing with the small trailers and uh, put it into a module that can sit on this bed. You can see it lines up with the headache rack. It has lift rings on top, uh, so it's removable if he does need the whole truck bed. Uh, so these are an RV type paddle latch. Grab them. Got gas struts for the doors. Um, these are you can get out. So it opens from either side. So it is a true RV latch. So this kind of gives him an extended cab on this truck where he didn't have it before with the regular cab truck. You can see the uh, RV style tinted windows with uh, screens in them. Uh, again, urethane lining. This is a carpet that'll accept the Velcro and 
patches, little pouches, things like that. Got the L track. Uh, he frequently hauls a, a dog kennel in here, so he's got little straps to tie it down. And then this has a small electrical package in it. Uh, we have 12 volt socket and USB power at both sides. Uh, you've got light switches here for boarding lights from outside. And then you have one for the second cab light inside. And then one of the things he had requested uh, was some blackout lights, uh, red, so he can see in here and not lose his night vision if he's on a uh, hunt or something out where he's trying to be a little more discreet about it. So gives you a lot of electrical options. You see that on the other side as well, controls those light switches. One thing that uh, you might be asking is, gosh, that's pretty high. How do I get up in there? Well, we did add steps to both sides of the bed, which is a quick little step. We took this box here, the storage box, added heavier cables and a deck plate on it. Now it's just kind of a one-two step and you're in the, uh, the module. So worked out really well. Again, gives you another workbench if you need it to uh, work on something. Uh, what doubles is that step uh, up as you go. So lots of light, lots of uh, fresh air. This has roof vents in it as well. So if you uh, are passing through and it's rainy and you just want to keep air uh, flowing through there, you can open up the vents that are up on top. This is a double seal door. You see the bubble seal here, bubble seal at the edge. Uh, this is also an insulated space. Uh, there's one inch of foam insulation in behind all of this carpeting and uh, plywood that you see. So. Makes for a very comfortable space. A twin mattress will fit in here. Uh, so it, uh, it doubles for sleeping, storage, hauling, whatever you might need for your particular uh, adventure you're going out on. So uh, it's, it could be a toolbox. Uh, it could be deleted and just have lights in there and nothing but storage. Uh, so lots of different options with these truck beds. And again, they're all modular. Uh, he takes these things off and has a flatbed truck at the end of the day. Uh, to haul things at his uh, property. So really works out well for him, gives him a lot of uh, different uh, solutions and, and can do a lot of different applications with the same truck bed. So the last part of this truck bed we want to talk about is uh, the whole reason the truck came back into the shop this week. Uh, the owner of it, uh, everything's been working out great for him. He's been able to haul most everything he wanted to with the exception of in this previous configuration he was really unable to haul his dual sport bike and it was just not enough truck bed length. So he came in and asked us about a little hitch extension and uh, we kind of did a hitch extension on steroids, if you will. Uh, it's about 29 inches. It's the full width of the bed. Uh, we started with a uh, Titan receiver extension. Uh, these come up to 48 inches in length. We cut it down to about 30 or so. Um, so it, it extends out a two inch receiver and still has weight capacity carrying up to about 5,000 pounds. Has the seven way here. Uh, so we went ahead and incorporated a little junction box plugged into the seven way to extend this. But then off of that, we were able to tie right in and put new tail lights on the back of this. Since you can still see the factory tail lights, backup lights function, camera functions, but we really didn't have any higher up uh, car height tail lights, if you will, or truck height. So we put stop tail turns, uh, your full width uh, three LED combo, and then some quarter clearance lights. So it just bolts on uh, with six bolts across the top, um, the bolt, a pin through this saddle, and then this actually bolts to the bottom of there. So it can be disassembled for storage, uh, but this will allow him now to easily haul two small off-road bikes or one larger uh, dual sport fully equipped bike. And, uh, give them a whole lot more options now as far as bed length. Uh, did the exact same construction as our truck bed, so it comes around and ties in really nice. Uh, takes care of his problem and, and it actually adds some, some nice styling to the back of the truck. So to sum up what we've looked at today, we started here with a Ram 3500 uh, AV Prospector uh, parts build and a 40 inch tire truck and we Assembled our first phase of this was a uh, standard flatbed. Uh, he came back in, we added all the skirting and boxes. Um, the second trip in, we did the sleeping module you saw here and all the upper boxes. And now this last trip, uh, we've added the uh, hitch extension in the back. So as you can see, we offer a lot of solutions uh, for a number of different trucks. This is Ram specific. 
uh, what we did here, but what we did here can be applied to any size, any brand of truck. Uh, the urethane coatings can be done in colors rather than black. So there's a, a world of options that we can do with these beds and make them as versatile as, as a multi-tool you can carry in your pocket. Uh, able to do a lot of different things and do them all really well. Um, and give you quality and durability in a lightweight package um, that really will last a lifetime in the truck. And, and in certain trucks can be carried right on into a new chassis if you started with a chassis and cab type truck where the, the frame rails are the same. This module could move truck to truck as you put a lot of miles on the truck. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to call us. Check us out at our website at nuthouseindustries.com. Uh, follow our YouTube channel and watch more videos as we produce these trucks. We'll uh, be sure to uh, post up more videos of them and you'll see other styles and other options and solutions that we